Kamala Mwandile uh, Zondo, co-founder and business lifestyle business manager. So in a nutshell, this is the streetwear brand that's trying to illustrate a new point of view about street culture. So streetwear is basically ready to wear clothing, like your t-shirt, shorts. So very easy accessible clothing. So yeah, we are a streetwear brand that takes trends globally and see what uh, inspires us globally and take it and interpret it in our own way. And that's what we call our own pieces. So it's just a research around the uh, what we see. And yeah, present it to people in the store in whatever we do. The lead pieces go back, rewind. 2014, 2015, we're chilling uh, with the homie of ours, uh, smoking dope, and he's busy bugging us like, hey guys, good thing, but man, you should submit a this, man, you submit this, this is yeah, man, that way it sparked a new conversation in our mind with my former business partner, mine, and then we asked him what is the thesis, and then he was like, no, it is easy to take a subject, do research on it, and then you present a paper. And then during that time, we were just a bunch of young guys between the age of 21 and 22, I think, uh, just trying to start a brand. Because we were going around town at that time, that was 2002, 2003, just buying uh, second hand clothing and changing it around and all of that. So, so Umang was a poet. So when Tsepo says, what is a thesis? Uh, it's a report, research, and all that. Mangi kind of it hits him to say, okay, actually, what we've been doing with secondhand uh, clothing, we've been doing a thesis, we've been doing a research about street culture in South Africa, street way. So, and yeah, that's we said we were looking for a name because we were about to register a business at that time. So we wanted a name that would fit into what we were doing, and we thought thesis was going to be. The best fits the brand, and yeah. So, in a nutshell, if you were to say what is the thesis, the thesis of the report given to illustrate a new point of view about a certain subject. So, we are illustrating a new point of view about street culture and so on. That I don't know. That I don't know. First time hearing that. But I think it's stuff that kind of make you say, okay, when you're inside of something, it's easy for people to create perception about it. But personally, I don't think this is makes you so certain enough, even though this is a brand that was founded in Soweto and is trying to illustrate a new point of view about Soweto. So I think it's only fair that people will say that because there is no brand in Soweto, in the history of Soweto that's been rooted into Soweto. I mean, we are 15 years this year. So I think it also comes with that, but honestly, that for me, it's more humbling than saying it, it's not a point of identity or anything. You know? it's, it's that belief of people saying people are now starting to in local businesses. And, uh, I get this question a lot, like the highs and the lows, like, hey man, it's just a business chain. It's, it's still a worthwhile chain, 15 years in, and I still wake up, I still want to do the same thing. Because I've set the bar so high for myself that I'm not even close to achieving what I've set up for myself. So, uh, I just, the ups and lows, everyone has got like, the ups and lows. I'm a human being, I go through ups and lows, personally, business, but, with any other business, the laws of the business is not the business that make you money. And in a business chain, you want to have that. So those are the laws. In the apps of a business, when the business is making money. So you want to have those. But I think in our journey, uh, we are a business that's just, it's not making money, it's not losing money, so we're here. That's why we're still in the business for all these years. Long term gain. I think that's a thing. I don't want to say being an entrepreneur in so much. Just being as an entrepreneur. The struggles of an entrepreneur in Brazil or anywhere else. You need to make people believe in your idea. You need to work hard, put in extra hours of work. You need to source resources because you 
starting out, listening to your question to see what makes it a difference to being an entrepreneur in so way. Okay. Probably I have to work 10 times harder because a, there was always a negative perception about why I opened up this team in the school in so it was never been done before. People were going to say, we're going to have a brand and the brand is going to represent who they are as young people in so it. And yeah, because that was the, a disadvantage. 2007 to say, deep so away from the store, but now it's like, hey, deep so away from the store, so let's really change the perception. That's the whole point of the shop, it's just to change perception, to say that hey, any kid from the town can do the exact same thing in Because kids in Brooklyn, I think, definitely you go to Brooklyn, there's a shop like this. You go to bed and there's a shop like this. Young people from the neighborhood doing their thing. They could be selling whatever, they could be doing graffiti, they could be selling sneakers, young artists, but every community global, it has something. So in Soweto, we can't just be a nightclub or a mochar, a corner store, or, you know, we need to change that perception, no bottle store. Just for a change, not a bottle store, but a spot for young people to really exercise what they love. Fifteen years deep. No, fifteen years like this. It's not deep. It's, not deep. it's, it's still that more constant growth. You don't want to pour petrol into it, uh, into the fire. Just keep the fire. Just constantly growing. Uh, we still do the same thing all over again. Uh, what we've been doing in the past fifteen years. We just want to get better every day. Just master it. Uh, so in sixteen of June, we opened the store. December 16, last day opened the store in Holland. So it's like, hey, that's 16 years we've worked. We knew that's gonna be six months. Old store, we're building the online store. Those are like, you know, well, for us, those are like major moves. It's a point of sale for us. It's growth. If you look to us, like 10 years ago, we didn't have two stores. We have two stores going online. You know, we're building our so also the business growth now is like, we don't want to upscale, we want to go back to the supply chain. Just on the value chain, you eliminate the middleman, all that money comes into the supply chain. So it's like learning that now, more than trying to upscale. So it's more of a controlled growth, more than anything. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, we're not going to pour petrol. It's controlled growth, very thoughtful of might not see it because probably it's just guys who don't see that like, they are very uh, paying attention to the detail but definitely it's not it's an organic growth and we know it's we call our business plan the patient business plan. Uh, take your time uh, just grow organically we've grown organically uh, I look I mean I still keep my the books that I down ideas, the black box. I always said myself, I always have a black box. I still keep my black box where I used to write my ideas and all of that. Like, yeah, the projection I used to do for the first year, it's something making a money. You know? So that's growth. If you were to say growth, that's growth. I sit back, I don't need people to say growth. I sit back, I look into those things, they make me money. Oh wow, and there's a lot of things where we are now. I don't think they are equals. I go back and read about them and like, oh, actually, I said, this is what I always wanted the business to go into some of the other So, yeah, like, it's more of you need to put your ideas out there, let the world know, and they don't just have them. You need to take time. But the most important thing is, like, I'm grateful every day, and then I wake up and like, oh, what are we doing to win a game? You know, with you know, so that they push. You know. I just want everyone around me to be the best person of themselves. Uh, it, 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 it's what I strive for. If you are to be around me, I want you to be the best person of yourself. So if you are a cleaner, I want you to be the best cleaner that can ever be. You must just love what you do. Uh, if you were to ask me, what am I really good at? I'm good at selling bucket hats and t-shirts. That's what I'm most in my life. It's the how that you can say, yeah. How? Yeah, but a nice store. But it's like anyone can go sell t-shirts and bucket hats. Anyone. But the only difference is the how. So that's the easy story. How? I'm not okay. 
we opened the shop 2014, yeah, 2014, 15, and that was one of our biggest wins, and that was one of our biggest wins we learned. So that's when we were like, okay, let's hone in everything, focus, focus, straight up focus. So we look into like the population, yeah, I say so it too. Uh, I used to say 5 million, but hey, apparently it's 2.5 to 3 million people. So 10% of that, 250 to 300,000. If, if one person at least is spending 100 bucks, on that's 20 bars. Out of the 20 bars, as an MD, getting 0.5%, not even CEOs and people. So it's an exchange of money and understanding your business. What is your model? So I'm thriving for that. I'm thriving to one day to make the same as money as CEOs. But in this environment. And it's all about baby steps. That day my ponya started just by selling milk. We used to deliver it in the bar. And then a few years later, he's that stubborn. So it's baby steps, blocks by blocks. You don't just run and sprint to marathon. You start building up slow, slow, slow. You're gonna hit a snack, be tired, the police gonna, you know. I'm also an ultra runner. Finish comrades, two comrades in quite good time. So that also the application of marathon training because you had to train every day for ultra marathon. Come race day, you had to go back to your strategy. So those things like a building blocks, you know, in life. And also for me, a lot of things make sense with time growing up, become wiser, real mistakes, and do everything that you planned in the gym, you know. So that's what matters to you. Just keep on playing. Uh, it's just gonna get harder sometimes. Just keep on playing. 2020, everyone is excited. Change of plenty. I don't think it's a year of plenty. The economy is just going into recession. People must keep their belts tight. But remember that even if you keep your belt tight, this is still there. The t-shirt is still 250. The bucket is still 180. So which means basically a paying 80 bucks for one side. <laughs> Nah, I mean, like, this thing is so tiring, like, advice. No, it's like, like, cause it's like, kids know about this. You just have to work hard. There is no, there's no secret. You can go to anyone. You just have to put in hours. Like, make mistakes, learn from them, pick yourself up. Just have a goal, don't quit. That's the thing, it's like, ever since I left high school in 2000, the only thing I know, uh, 20 years later, it's just selling clothes. Never tried to be anything else. And that's what I'm good at now. Never went to any higher institution of learning. Went as far as metric. And everything I know is self to You know why? Because I'm hungry. Grow up poor. I don't want to be poor. Uh, I'm just scared of being poor. I'm just scared of not having. And I cannot blame the system. Sit there and blame the system. Whereas some people are doing it in the top conditions. So it simply means I also have that potential to do it. And I just dig deep, deep in me to take out that potential. That's what I'm doing every day. It's not going to be easy. No one said it's going to be easy because it's first it's everyone to be doing it. So there's no replacement for hard work. Like a lot of people are going to tell you it can't be done. Actually, when you hear can't, that's when you like, must do it.